Two teams are on the field, so we'll fly through the team lists for Norellan. Sal Kamuta at fullback, uh, Ate Katoa and Jared Forrest on the wings. Jackson Cooley and Haka Toitoy in the centres. Luke Rowland, 5'8", Jacob McKinnon, halfback. Front row, Jaden Lang, Liam Robeck and Mooniez Koryak. The back row will be Rossi Brown, Ben Whitehouse and uh, Jordan Lamalu. The bench is Josh Galvin, Jared Kepi, Joe Falavau and Summer Savau. And for the Thilmy Roosters, I've just handed to me. Thank you very much. Uh, Alan Shipley at fullback, Dylan Cooper on one wing and uh, Riley Nan on the other. The centres are Jack uh, Jesse Jackson, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, along with uh, Justin Smith, Dayton Craig at 5'8", Jacob Rockles the halfback. Front row is George Peterson, Adam Campbell and Kai Madden. The back row will be uh, Cody Benson and uh, Ra uh, Rowie Poru. And I would suggest uh, they might run Dane Kaskiri as a starting back rower on the bench. Uh, Ryan Mansfield, I think it is. Uh, Bailey Nan, Levi Bromfield and uh, Rucker Poru for the Norellan Jets. We are underway. We've had a minute. We are go for a Sunday afternoon. And the Thormy Roosters have worked it downfield, running right to left on your radio in the opening 40 minutes. And they have found touch 30 metres out from the Norellan line. And the Jets will have the opening scrum feed of the afternoon right on 3 o'clock local time as we get underway for Sunday Football Group 6 League Live only on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. MacArthur's sports leader. So we'll see a couple of... Uh, couple of changes to the uh, the filmy lineup today. And just make a note of the Reverend Jesse Jackson playing in the centres this afternoon. And, uh, yeah, both sides are down on troops from their yeah. previous um, outing. Yeah, big Jacob Loco out for the uh, for the the Roosters. That's a big blow for them. It is a big blow. And the rest of it looks uh, looks more cosmetic for the. For the Roosters, as we see the Jets in possession, there's Sal Kamuta filling in at fullback, 38 metres out from the line. Norellan running left to right on your radio in the opening 40 minutes. As we see big Rossi Brown out on, out on the field, the kick comes on the last, a spiral torpedo bomb from Luke Rowland. That one taken easily by Alan Shipley in his own in goal. Comes back into the field of play, makes it up over the 10. Good run there from the number one who was very impressive last week. Two and a half gone first half. No score on the board. Thelmira and Norellan, Sunday football, only on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. As we have a look at the Roosters now, taking it forward out of their own end. Up towards the 30. Good start from the home side this afternoon. Campbell to the left-hand side. And a runner there, almost on the 40-metre line now, the Roosters. That might have been... Uh, Dane Kaskiri going for a run as we see the kick downfield. Trapped by Jared Forrest inside his own quarter up to the 30. There's a wall of maroon and gold there to greet him 31 metres out. Opening stages of this one, both sides getting a feel for the football early. There's Ata Katoa over the 40. Dummy half is uh, Liam Robeck. Plenty of experience there now. Haka Toy Toy. Takes it forward. The second best name in football, Haka Toy Toy. <laughs> Not as good as Fui Fui Moi Moi, but Haka Toy Toy's up there. Close. C certainly in the middles. There's big Rossi Brown. We know how to say that one. He winds up to the 30 now. The journeyman. The journeyman. More clubs than uh, Greg Norman, I think, uh, for, for Rossi Brown. He won't mind me saying that. As we see the ball to the left-hand side, that looked like uh, Jordan Lamalu taking it forward. He'll play at 18 metres out from the line. Last tackle. Arm goes up. Referee this afternoon is David Gorman. They go short side, left-hand side. Here's a chance for the Jets. Opening cry of the afternoon will come to the Norellan Jets. Nice work down the left-hand side. And they lead it four points to nil on the Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown scoreboard. Four minutes gone, first half. Just need to check who scored that try. Yeah, got a feeling it might have been our mate Haka Toy Toy, but we'll just confirm that in a moment. Now, isn't he in the number four? I, if he's four, then yes, he's over he this is. side. So it was the on the other side of the it field. Could have been Jackson Cooley. <laughs> we'll confirm that in a moment. But Norellan will play from in front. Four points to nil. Four and a half gone first half. The Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown. And we're just waiting on confirmation. Yeah, from the just waiting manager. on that. At the... Uh, 
It was Jackson Cooley. We've just heard down the line Jackson Cooley with the opening try of the day. Well, there goes my doubles. <laughs> <laughs> Most important part of the Sunday at the football, 100%. isn't it, You've got to be in it to win it. Yeah, two for 200. The famous cry of the, uh, the, the sellers around, well, all football grounds. And uh, the Jets from in front. I'm just trying to pick up who the goal kicker uh, is. I think it's Jacob McKinnon. Jacob McKinnon for goal kicking. Okay. <laughs> He's not the worst goal kicker, Jacob McKinnon. <laughs> and he's added the extras there, so the Jets play from in front. 6-0, five gone first half. They had to be the they had to get onto the board early, Nirella, because if they let Filmy get a sniff and lead early, then they just run away with it. But Nirella had to be the ones to score first. Which they did, which makes it um, makes it for an interesting afternoon for us, I think, right? Yeah, it certainly will be Nirella out 6-0, six, six gone first half. On the Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown scoreboard. We go around the grounds for Forte Financial Services in Group 6 and NRL action this afternoon. Still half time in Auckland. Warriors 12, Penrith 6 in the NRL match that's underway this afternoon. Around the grounds. Wow, this really has blown out. Oakdale 22, Mittagong 0. The Oaks 12, Campbelltown City 8 for Forte Financial Services. Group 6 Rugby League. Right through the season here on MSR. The Jets 15 short of halfway to the right-hand side. That's a nice little run there for another eight or nine metres. They're five short of halfway. Out of dummy half, McKinnon puts it through the hands, finds Whitehouse. Whitehouse to within a metre or two of halfway. Just to the right of centre field, last tackle arm up from referee Gorman. Robeck dummy half, fires it back to the left-hand side for Rowland. Punches a kick downfield. That'll sit up nicely for Alan Shipley. In fact, it comes off him and goes backwards. Referee says that was all good. And he wheels into that wall of royal blue. That's unusual. Any ball that goes backwards is usually knock on by referee. Yes, that I was... <laughs> that was a good call. That was actually a good call. A good no call there from referee Gorman. Got that one 100% spot on. Yes, I, I did have that thought that, uh, you know, in the NRL, that would have been a knock on against Thormy. But here, that was uh, well and truly knocked back. As we see the Roosters now coming out of their own end... He had time at the Jets, big George Peterson, 15 yep. short of halfway. He's been around a bit too. He's played for a few clubs, old yes. George. He, he's had time at uh, Oakdale, I know that. Adam Campbell out of dummy half. Good run there from Adam Campbell over a, the halfway. It was a city to start off with. Was there a little knock on at dummy half? Referee said no. They come to the left-hand side, last tackle. The kick downfield, not a bad-looking kick. Sits up for uh, Sal Kamuda at the back. And he's going to be wrestled. In fact, he won't be wrestled to ground eventually. He's Jacob Rockwell. Pulls him to ground. 12 metres out from their own line. The Jets running in front and running left to right as we look at it. The Royal Blue of the Jetters up by six. Eight minutes gone, first half. The Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown. Good defence there from the Roosters. Dane Kaskiri taking the tackle along with Adam Campbell. 15 short of halfway. I'll come to the right-hand side now. More like it from the, the Jets. They looked really on this afternoon. Haka Toy Toy within four, five metres of halfway. It'll be tackle four in the set. To the left-hand side they go. There's uh, Jaden Lang taking it forward. Over halfway by a metre. Robeck out of dummy half goes to the left-hand side. That's a, a good little, well, a nice little kick. The referee says knock on from Norellan. So it'll be a filmy scrum feed. Now turn a turnover over. on the last, in turnover. fact. Turnover, yep. Turnover on the last. That was a poor end to a good set of six. Mm, the kick was the right option from Rowland on the left-hand side, but just not able to beat the line and then a, a knock-on in the in the play the ball. Your mate, Mr. Hocker Toy Toy's got the trainer out with him at the moment. The rest called time off. He has. We've had nine minutes and seven seconds in the first half. On the official clock here at Filmy Sports Ground, Norellan leads at 6-0. Over the filmy roosters. So I'll go around the grounds once again for Forte Financial Services. The Oaks and Campbelltown City 12 all a shootout at DCO. Mittagong trails Oakdale 22 nil. In the NRL we've got a review going on. Here for a possible try. If it's for the Panthers. In, uh, I'm looking at it from my angle here, Mike. Looking, you think it was a knock-on? It, it looks, looks like, like a knock-on, knock but it certainly does. If that's what they're ruling on, then uh, 
certainly looks like a knock-on. We'll keep an eye on that as we go around the grounds for Forte Financial Services. Five inside the Norellan half of the Roosters. Campbell out of dummy half. Kaskiri on the left-hand side. Good run, Dane Kaskiri. Takes 15 metres. That's how far into Norellan territory he is. A slow play the ball penalty. It's confirmed, Mike. It was a no try. No try? Okay. Yeah, the bunkers come back with a no try. So no chicken handed out to the Roosters, uh, to the Panthers on that occasion. The Roosters take the tap. 31 metres out. Big George Peterson winds up that frame of his. Can he break the line? Not this time. Almost got the arm free. 15 metres out from the line at the northern end of the ground. Campbell dummy half. Goes left-hand side, finds Cody Benson. He was great on Dubu last week. Within three or four metres of the line, now the Roosters. Deep in attack, left-hand side. Campbell finds his half there in Rockwell. Now Dane Craig. Craig to the outside, can't beat the line. Only a few metres out. Campbell out of dummy half, goes himself. Adam Campbell hit and spin. The whirling dervish is out, but he can't break the line. Pushed back only half a metre out from the line. He plays it now. Craig, a little grubber into the end goal, fielded by Norell and good defence there from the Jets. They're up by six, ten and a half gone, first half. That was nice work there from the Jets as they look to go down the outside. Yeah, strong, strong goal line defence that by Norell. The Jets coming out of their own end, missing their key signing, Ben Baker. Not in the lineup today, I believe he's got some personal, uh, personal issues to deal with this afternoon. And we wish him and uh, his family all the best. Yes, uh, some issues have come up at the last moment, so we wish them all the best at the moment. So he's out of the side. That's the big blow. And Jacob Loco for the Roosters. That's a that's a big one to lose him this afternoon. As we see the kick downfield, it's not the uh, Knight Rider back there on the wing. It's Justin Smith in the five jersey trying to step his way through the line up towards the 33 and four shirts there to stop him. 29 metres out from the line. 22 in western side of the field. Roosters down by six. 11 and a half gone first half. Fighting for every metre. Eight short of halfway. It's a tight arm struggle at the moment, isn't it? It certainly is. As we see, it looks like uh, the second rower in Benson. Take it forward. Over halfway. Now big George Peterson puts his hand up for another run. Nine metres inside. Norellan Territory where he plays it. Five to the left of centre field. Campbell out of dummy half goes right hand side on the inside was Dane Kaskiri with the hit and spin to the 30. Strong run. Great run there from Kaskiri. Campbell out of dummy half goes himself was collared high. Yeah. Referee says turnover, last tackle, wow. That's a big call against the Roosters. Yeah, it looks like the ref's call that he's grabbed him behind the collar of the jersey. Thought it had to be a high tackle. Campbell's slow to his feet. He's still on his haunches. Rest call time off. He has 12 and a half minutes gone. First half, 6-0. Norellan leads Thurlmere. And the Roosters, the, the Kangaroos are in front. 14-12 over the Oaks around the grounds for Forte Financial. Oakdale leads Mittagong 22-0 down in the Highlands. Here at 6-0. Norellan in front of Thirlmere. We've had 12 and a half minutes. Is it just the first half, Mike, you reckon, for those other games? Well, they would have kicked off at 2.30, uh, wouldn't they? So yeah, they'd be, be close to the half-time scores. They'd be nudging half-time, I'd reckon, Craig. You're right. They'd be getting close to half-time for those two matches. But the, the one that surprises me, Oakdale, really doing a job on Mittagong down at uh, Mittagong Sports Ground. The, the, route, the Lions would have... Uh, Really been confident going in. I know they've got a big family day today for the. Well, they would have penciled that in as a um, two points that they thought yeah, they would have got away with. Definitely, that is a big surprise. To see them, and not so much behind, but behind by so far. Clearly, Oakdale dominating that first half in the Highlands. The Kangaroos 14-12 to the good over City. And that's probably a little more accurate. You'd expect City to be competitive and maybe just in front. You'd think so, but after the way they've been playing the last few weeks, you just ca the, this competition is so even. Both oh, any, it is an absolute on, lottery. On any day, any given side can beat anyone. Yeah, the old phrase about any given Sunday. Yeah, well, I mean, look, for the beginning of the season, when Norella knocked off Picton, no one thought that would have happened. Then there was other matches that results, you come back and you scratch your head and you think, how did that actually happen? 
There was a bit of concern here for Adam Campbell. We might I think when he got hit, he, his head may have hit the ground yeah. really hard. We might take 30 seconds while we have the opportunity here on MacArthur Sports Radio and be back in a moment. It's okay to ask for help if you think your child is falling behind in class. Kip McGrath has been tutoring primary and secondary students in English and maths for over 40 years and there is a Kip McGrath right here in Norellan. We offer a free assessment so we can identify your child's strengths and any learning gaps. Then Kip McGrath's qualified teachers will personalise a learning program to help your child catch up and keep up in class. Make a difference to your child's results. Book a free assessment at kipmcgrath.com.au forward slash Norellan. Back here at Filmy Sports Ground, Mike Sheen and Craig Davis with you. As it looks like we're right to get back underway once again. Adam Campbell back on his feet uh, in the marker position, but uh, certainly not. Uh, certainly had a couple of nervous moments there for uh, for everyone here at Filmy Sports Ground. Big Rossi Brown winds up to the 40. His own side of halfway crosses that, adds a couple more to the list. Good run there from the uh, the forward. Now it's Jaden Lang. He's looked good this afternoon. A couple short of halfway. Campbell makes the tackle down low. Robeck for Rowland. Rowland turns it on the inside. Had a runner there. That might have been Jackson Cooley. To within seven metres. Inside. He fill me a half. Robeck to the right-hand side. Finds Jordan Lamalu. Lamalu, 32 metres out. They're calling for it on the right-hand side. That's tackle five. They go out of dummy half. Robeck finds McKinnon. McKinnon, a little punching kick into the corner on the eastern side of the field. And when Shipley was there and gets driven back. Big defence from the Roosters' opponents. Norellan up in numbers today. They're up 6-0 on the scoreboard. 14 gone first half. Penalty to the Roosters inside the 10. If it wasn't for inside the 10, that could have been a bit of a dangerous tactic too when the player took the hit up. Yeah, I, th I think the whistle might have gone before the... Uh, oh, look, Filmy hasn't f failed to find touch. Filmy's failed to find touch. That's a big play there from the Roosters. Gone for the big kick downfield and hasn't crossed the line on the eastern side of the field. Norellan have it. Five inside Filmy territory. There's Cooley once again. Takes it forward. 36 metres out from the line. Eastern side of the field. They come back to the open left of the Filmy defence. There's Whitehouse taking it forward. Back slammed into the ground, 28 metres out from the line. To the right-hand side, Rossi Brown. Second ball out the back. Short ball was a nice one to Koryak on the right-hand side. They had numbers and they'll get the penalty this time, the Jets. They will get the penalty. Penalty count is 2-1 for Oz Skilled. Rossi Brown takes it forward. Good run there, Rossi Brown inside the 10. The veteran winds up the frame. He's only a few metres out from the line, western side of the field. Short ball to the left-hand side. Jaden Lang reaches out. Did he get it down? I tell you what he did. That's a great try, Jaden Lang. The Jets are in. 6-4 kick to come. Good solo play from Jaden Lang. 15 gone first half. It was strong, strong run on the back of um, on the back of a penalty. For not getting off, uh, for being too slow getting off to play the ball. A couple of strong runs. One first big hit up by Rossi Brown, and the second one by Great chat, Macca. Big Jaden. Yeah, I need to correct myself. It was actually 10 nil in favour of the Jets. I said it was 6-4. It's actually 10 nil Norellan with a kick from uh, adjacent to the uprights. Maybe you need to go to Kip McGrath. Uh, well, some, uh, I think I need to go to lessons. I think I need to go to Specsavers. That might be more appropriate. So. No, they're not one of our sponsors. Mate. Yeah, no, not this week. <laughs> we'll work on that. <laughs> Jacob McKinnon, 15 metres out. No, I know I had a count. It was the uh, putting it on the right side of the sheet. Jacob McKinnon, 15 metres out. 21 in from touch, western side. To make it a neat dozen in favour of the Jets. And the Roosters caught a little bit off guard here. The flags go up. It's 12 nil Norellan. I don't think this was on the script handed out midweek. No, I don't think so. I think it's come to a probably right, come to a shock to both sides. Lang, I mean, definitely it's Jacob a shock to Phil that they're down by 12 nil. Norellan's got confidence in themselves. Norellan believe every time they take the field, they're going to win. And, and you've got to have that belief. Up. Even if you're down the bottom of the table or the top of the table, you've got to have belief in yourself when you go out there and play. Otherwise, you're going to get pumped. 
We'll go around the grounds. Progress scores Group 6 Rugby League. Campbelltown City 14, the Oaks 12, Oakdale 32, Mittagong nil. That is a massive turn up down in the Highlands this afternoon. Here, Norellan 12, Oakdale uh, watching on Norellan 12, Thilmy nil. I wonder if Oakdale got a couple of signings before June 30. Uh, well, quite possibly. We've got a knock on here from Norellan. Five short of halfway, so a scrum feed to the Roosters in good field position. I believe Stuart Flanagan's back playing for Oakdale. Yes, so I did well. see his name there recently. And he's a big inclusion for them. Blake Sutton as well. He's, yeah, he's so gone across to Oakdale. So that's a couple of um, big pick, good pickups for um, Oakdale. Just having a scan through the list. Uh, no major. Well, the the, the try score is certainly not uh, uh, any addition. I'll have a look at, uh, Just wondering if Minagong's got a few players out injured. Because it's, it's uncharacteristic of Minagong to be down by that many points. Yeah. Yeah, I can see here game. one that uh, would be a good pickup. Josh Burke. If that's the same Josh Burke that played for Campbelltown City, that'll be a big boost if, if they've added him to their hey, list. Dummy. Meanwhile, Thilmier on the attack. Adam Campbell finds Cody Benson inside the 30. 23 metres out from the line. Centre field, northern end, down by a dozen. 18 gone first half. To the right-hand side, Alan Shipley looked like he ducked under a high one. Referee agreed it was high, and the penalty goes to the Roosters, levelling the count at two for ozskill.com.au. That was a lazy tackle by the Norellan defender. Quick tap given off. Campbell found Madden. Inside the 10, Roosters on the attack. Good opportunity here. What can they do with it? Kaskiri straight up the middle. Good run, only three or four metres out. Campbell fires it to the left-hand side. Jacob Rock will not held spinning once again. The Whirling Dervish is getting a good workout this afternoon. He's only three metres from the line. What can they do here? Benson to the left-hand side. Has a look at his options. Driven towards the Western touchline. Stays in. 11 metres out. Only a metre or two in. Justin Smith dummy half. Rock wall for Peterson. Peterson, he gets that hidden spin going. Inside the 10. As they come back, that is the last tackle I thought it was. Craig, cross field kick. There's numbers out there, but that's halfway back to Tarmore. Too that's deep. Way too deep. Back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. The Norell inside out um, by 12. Good strong defence by Norell. Throw me through everything at them then. Um, just a bad kick at the end of that set of six. Just not the right option there for the... It was on. There was they had enough players out there. Why? But the kick was just too deep. Yeah, kick was uh, well, the play to the outside was on on the on the right hand side for Thilmy, but just uh, as you said, far too deep. Yeah, just talking about uh, Oakdale. Looks like they've signed uh, Josh Burke. If that's the same Josh Burke that was playing for Campbelltown City, uh, that is a great pickup for them. He was a in the he went to Orange. He was a fullback or centre? Uh, played or something? in the centres, yeah, yeah. Predominantly in the centres. I think has played a little bit of five eight as well. Yeah, no, he was um, I remember him from a couple of years ago. We'll go around the grounds for Forte Financial. Warriors sixteen, Penrith ten, twenty eight to go in Auckland. A kick to come for the Panthers. Nathan Cleary watching on as the, in fact he's back on the field as they uh, in fact, no, that's Maloney in the seven. I thought it was. As we see here, Liam Robeck out of dummy half for the Jets. He's played strong so far in this game. He's been very good so far, Liam Robeck. Has had a lot of uh, Group 6 first grade experience as well. A little punching kick over the top from Jacob McKinnon. And Alan Shipley allows that to find touch on the eastern side of the field. So the scrum 10 metres out. Filming looks like they're making an interchange, Mike. Number 18's coming on. Yeah, that'll be uh, Raka Poru going on in Jersey 18. And big George Peterson having a spell. He's played strong in the first um, this opening part of the game, big George. No, he's been very good so far this afternoon. Been very strong. And uh, no, he's been very impressive. There's a chance for the Roosters downfield. Jacob Rockwell gets it back on the inside, finds Justin Smith. Smith lobs it back over the top to Rockwell once again. Don't think that was the right option. Back to Smith playing a little, a little bit of Tiggy Touchwood here. 
back to Rockwell once again. And they've gone down. Looks like Smith has an injury. In fact, Norellan's come up with it. One on one, on one strip on the, on the halfback. On Rockwell, Smith looks like he's picked up a knock. That's a concern for the Roosters. He's slowly getting back into position. Jaden Lang. Good offload. That was a great offload to Jordan Lamalu. Lamalu's been strong at the back today. He'll play at five short of halfway centre field. 22 gone, first half. Norellan 12, Thulmi nil. As we see Cooley get a ball away to the outside. Finds his winger there in, uh, in uh, Jared Forrest. Forrest nearly cutting through the trees. Coming out the other side. Robeck to the right. McKinnon. McKinnon had nothing doing. Flicks it back on the inside for Atta Katoa. Katoa to the 20 now. 21 in western side. Roosters trail by a dozen. Can Norellan add to the pain? Rock, uh, Rowland rather finds... Uh, Lamalu, Lamalu inside the quarter, 18 metres out. Just to the left of centre field. Plays it now. Back it comes, McKinnon. Little grubber kick through the line. Shipley was there at the back. Fielded it nicely, two metres out. Well read by the Thelmy fullback, well read. Did very well. He's been very good at the back in the last couple of weeks. Alan Shipley filling in for the injured captain coach, Jake Mullaney. Jets now defending Thelmy 10 metres out from their own line. They can't afford to give away a penalty. They can't give Thelmy any yardage. No, they certainly need to force them at their own end of the ground. Good low hit there on the Roosters, 32 metres out from their own line. Campbell kicks out of dummy half, trying to catch them napping inside the 40. He wanted the 40-20, but it took an off break, and that'll run dead halfway back to Picton for a seven-tackle set. Right idea. The ball just didn't hold up. Execution left a lot to be desired, and it looks like we've got a, an injury here. One of the filmy players back in the line, or back. If we've seen him, he's going to say play on for the time being. It's well out of play. Well, filmy players showing a lot of concern. In fact, I think. And it looks like he's holding his. You know what, Mike? Yes. Yes, Looks uh, like he's been hitting the Jets crackers. Yes, uh, uh, an upper thigh injury, I think they call it. Uh, Cody Benson. Looks like he's taken one to the upper thigh region. As we see, that looks like the uh, the 15, Jared Kepi. Famous name in New Orleans Rugby League out on the field. The Roosters now having to defend on halfway. And it's a case of the walking wounded Kai Madden just getting his ankle trapped at the wrong moment as they come to the... Middle of the ground, there's a good run from Jaden Lang. He's been very good. Jaden Lang, open space, takes on Alan Shipley, steps past him and scores a brilliant solo try. And he celebrates as well, 16-0. Norellan leads it for Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown. You don't expect front rowers to run like they do, Mike. He got into the gap, but he's pinned his ears back and they couldn't catch him. That's exactly what it was. Jaden Lang with a first half double, 16-0 to the Jets. This is a complete turn up for the books. It might be one of those afternoons. Tipster's nightmare in Group 6 Rugby League. Yeah, the Tigers yeah, might be helping out here. 18-14 to the good for Forte Financial. Oakdale 32-0 over Mittagong. In the NRL, the Warriors 16-12 over Penrith. Penrith deep in attack. And it's all been Norellan here this afternoon. Yeah, they've had, they've had um, the possession's been fairly even. It's been an even a lot of possession. No sides dominated with the ball, you know, dominated possession, but New Orleans seem to be making a lot more yards up the middle of the ruck. They certainly do. Jacob McKinnon will add the extras from in front to make it 18 nil. Still 14 minutes remaining first half. Here at Thormy Sports Ground, and they have really come out firing this afternoon, the Jets. As he adds the extras, it's now 18-0 Norellan over Thelmy. No, you're not hearing things. MacArthurSportsRadio.com bringing you Group 6 League Live every Sunday afternoon. You've got to remember too, they might only play 60 minutes of football last week. <laughs> so they've got a bit of um, bit of extra energy compared to Thelmy that had a really tight game against Picton last week. No, they certainly did. They did have a little bit of a bonus there uh, in that uh, shortened match. As I said, talking to one of the Norellan officials out the back earlier today, he was just thankful there were no lights being used 
this afternoon for uh, for the game because that would have uh, could have caused all sorts of problems. But Norellan causing enough problems at the moment. Off to a flying start, 18 nil to the good and looking dominant. There's Jackson Cooley taking it forward over the 20. Good run there. Norellan's going to make their first interchange. It's like Summer Savau. That'll be the one and only Summer Savau in 17. Out the back, Robeck. He may come on for Ross Brown, I think. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like Rossi Brown's coming big off. Rossi coming off. But he was strong in that opening 20 minutes too. Yeah, he's been very good this afternoon. Robeck over halfway. Seven inside. The filmy half. High ball for McKinnon. Little pop kick over the top. Justin Smith trots back, retrieves it inside his own quarter. There's a wall of royal blue there. You can yeah. definitely, definitely tell that um, Jacob Loco is missing out there for the film here, boys. They're certainly missing him. He was very damaging last week. His go forward very, um, would be very missed. Indeed. Dane Koskiri takes it forward. Like they were saying, that Dane's been running onto the ball really hard too in his stint out there. He's been very good. In fact, that was Cody Benson, the young second rower. Ruck up, Horu winds up. Crashes into the line. Five inside Norellan territory. Tackles up their sleeve. In fact, it was Rowie. Now it's Rucker taking it forward. The Polaroo brothers combining for 25-odd metres. There's Rockwell to the left-hand side. The bat on was good. Picked up by Smith. Cross-field kick on the left boot. Not a bad one. It's going to land in no man's land. Anybody want it? Norellan come up with it inside their own 10. That was very dangerous from the Roosters. The cross-field kick to anybody. And eventually, Thilmy... Turnover possession on the last, but that could have amounted to something. The Jets now coming out of their own end. There's Whitehouse taking it forward. In fact, that might have been uh, at a Katoa. As now the forwards get in, roll up their sleeves. Looks like uh, Josh Galvin about to go on in jersey 14 for the Jets as well. There's uh, Jaden Lang. He's been just about Bar Central man of the match so far this afternoon. He's yes. been excellent. He's been dominating out there. Robeck for McKinnon. Just punches it towards the touch line. Will it find the line? Yes. Finds it easily. And at the scrum 10 metres out. So the Jets. Yes, you know, our leader of the man of the match at the moment is coming off a bit of a breather. Yeah, and well earned after nearly half an hour, Jaden Lang. Would be well in the hunt for the Bar Central man of the match this afternoon. He's had an excellent first uh, 30 odd minutes here at Thilmy this afternoon. The Roosters up. Uh, Roosters down, sorry, 18 nil. Just looking to um, Benson, the back row, just limped to the to pack into the back of the scrum. So we'll keep an eye on him for you, Mike. Yeah, he's 12. been he's been very he's been strong too. Yeah, just, Cody Benson had a big game last week on Debut. He was very impressive last he's week. He's come out of the scrum with his hands on his hips and um, he's he, struggling yeah. to walk at the moment. So the trainer's on out. The trainer's yeah. on there with him at the moment. Keep an eye on that, Craig. I'll follow the play. The Roosters have it. 25 out from their own line. Campbell to the left-hand side. The Roosters up over the 30 now. Wrong end of the field for them. 9.45 remaining first half. Down by 18. They need a spark. Uh, Craig turned it back on the inside. But they're losing ground here. The Roosters still 12 metres short of halfway from a standing start. That's Rowie Poru up towards halfway, short by a couple of metres. Campbell back for Craig for the kick. That's a, a, an end over end wobbler. Downfield taken easily there by Jared Forrest. Inside his own 10, up over the quarter to the 30. Still going, Jared Forrest ran into Jacob Rockwell who ragdolled him to ground. 25 metres out. They play their set now from start to end. The Jets want to get some momentum here. They've been very good. There's Munez Koryak just short of halfway. Big front row has been solid this afternoon. Robeck to the right-hand side. Had a runner there in the form of Summer Savau. Summer Savau over the 40. 35 metres out when he plays it. Robeck left-hand side found Galvin. Galvin over the 30. Much better from the Jets. Geez, they look sharp this afternoon. They'll be in the five at the end of the day on the back of these results. McKinnon on the last. Puts it high. Chipley camps under it. Did very well. In fact, he, he did well to force it in the end. Norellum were coming through in numbers. It's a line dropout. 
They did very well. It'll be a scrum no feed. Scrum, yeah. Ref's called a knock on before it's gone in goal. So, 10 metres out. Norellan on the attack. Clock showing 8 10 remaining first half. Norellan 18, fill me nil. Sunday football only on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Mike Sheen and Craig Davis with you this afternoon. Saturday night, I don't know if you've seen the draw for next week, uh, Craig. No, I haven't. Uh, we're off to the stadium Saturday night, or should I say, Arana Park. Oh, Campbelltown Stadium. Yeah, Arana Park. Arana Park. Campbelltown City and Mittagong, Saturday night football. The, Ro the Roos and play, the Lions. they play for a cup? They do the Corkery Andrews Cup. Jarrett Forrest in the corner for the Jets. We'll be back to that in a moment. Jarrett Forrest acrobatically in the corner. It's 22-0 Norellan. For Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown, that came from the scrum win. Just a back line, just a straight back line movement. Out the back, 5-8 to the centre, to the winger, winger in the corner. And the Jets are in front, 22-0. That was far too easy. And a tough kick here for Jacob McKinnon, hard up against the Eastern touchline. For Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown, the Jets are flying this afternoon. This is a big turn up. But yes, we were talking about Saturday night. Norell, uh, Campbelltown City in Mittagong, the Corkery Andrews Cup That's right. is on the line. Ray Corkery and uh, Group 6 President uh, Graham Andrews being honoured with that trophy uh, in their name. So that, that will be on the line Saturday night at Arana Park. We won't call it Campbelltown Stadium this week. No. We'll, we'll refer to Old it by, by its original name, Arana Park. And then on Sunday, we'll have to have a bit of a little... Uh, At least we'll have good, um, good commentary position up yes. there, right up in the top of the grandstand. Yes, uh, we might move to the outdoor section. Uh, to well, that depends open. on how cold and wet it is. Yes, well, we're, we're, we're sheltered, so we're well, safe. That's fine. Yeah, yeah that's, we can do that. We can do that, so we might move to that outdoor area. We can do whatever we want. Yep, I might uh, speak to the uh, city officials during the week about that. And see if they can put on some um, food and drink for us as well. Jacob McKinnon from the touchline. No, thought he'd done enough, but just waved away. It remains 22 nil. So we'll have to see if City will give us the City hospitality. Oh, the, the famous Campbelltown City hospitality. I'm, like sure, I'm sure they won't extend that onto the field. I'd like to talk to Alex Miller. Yes, I think we might. We'll have to give Alex a call. Yes, I'll, I'll have a word to him during the week. I'm sure they won't extend that hospitality on the field, though. Oh, definitely not. They, they certainly won't do that. But uh, Mittagong, geez, on the back of these results this afternoon, they will be fired up on Saturday night. And then Sunday afternoon, we'll have a little discussion about uh, where things are at. Around the grounds for Forte Financial, the Oaks 18. <coughs> Pardon me, the Oaks 18, Campbelltown City 18, Oakdale 36, Mittagong nil. Around the grounds in Group 6 Rugby League. Here it's... Norellan 22, fill me nil. We've got an error from the Jets after the restart. Yeah, refs called a forward pass. So the Roosters with a chance. Five minutes in change until half time. They need to be the next team to score. That is a massive understatement. But they need to be the next team to score. Good one, Captain Obvious. Yes, I know. Thank you. That's my, that's my specialty, the Department of the Bleeding Obvious. Well, you'll add one a day. One yeah, thank a, you. Add, only one. One and a half. Oh, right. I'll one and a half, so you can have two. Oh, thank you. How, how generous of you. Uh, who's that? The Reverend Jesse Jackson taking it forward for the Roosters on the attack. Now it's Levi Bromfield, who's on in 16 to within a couple of metres of the line. On the right-hand side. Back it comes. Rockwell out the back on the bench to Smith. Smith on the outside too. I think that's Riley Nahn for the line. Only a metre or two out. He'll play it now. Smith into dummy half. Fires it back to the right. Rockwell puts it down. Oh, First man. receiver. It was the pressure from the Norella front row. Corajak coming off the line quick. He had a look up. He, he was trying to pass, set the ball up for his next move before he caught it. Yeah, had it before he spent it. And he spent the, spilt the lollies before he'd got them in the bag. So that's a, a let off for the Jets. They gave... They gave Thelmy that early possession with the forward pass from the first set after the first tackle after the try. And then Thelmy, unfortunately, whilst attacking, dropped it. Gave, put down, giving the Ireland another chance to um, get out of trouble. As we see the Jets come out of their own end, up by 22 with only three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. They have dominated this opening period so far this afternoon. 
And if you were to look at this unknowing or not knowing the ladder, you'd suspect Norella and the team on top and the Roosters are fighting for fifth, not the other way around as it is this afternoon. There's a nice hit and spin from Whitehouse. Through the legs, out the back, anybody will do. Haka Toy Toy to the outside. Toy Toy finds a little bit of space. Toy Toy over the 40 towards halfway. Good run there. Great work there from the centre. Right back into dummy half. Wants a quick play the ball. Arms up for a penalty. Referee Gorman says no. McKinnon turns it back on the inside. Finds uh, Summer Saval with the spin. 41 metres out. Campbell makes the tackle. Robeck to McKinnon. Now out wide to the left-hand side. Rowell and long ball wide. Referee says it was all right. It was a flat ball. Jared Forrest down the touchline. Inside ball finds Sal Kamuda, who brings it around. That's number five in the first half. It's 26 nil. kick to come. One-way traffic from the Royal Blues. Bit of a suspect pass from the six to the winger, but um, referee called it um, fair, so who are we to argue? And certainly from our position, it looked a little questionable, but the referee said it was all good. It's 26-0, five first-half tries to the Jetters, and they are up and about this afternoon. They are flying very high and looking very sharp today. If they can produce this for the next few weeks, the top five is under major threat. Because their next game, I think, is against um, Picton, isn't it? They're I think it is in, in two um, weeks. At, at home. At Crane Oval, yes. Yeah, back at... Um, because they beat, they beat Picton at um, Victoria Park. In That's the first right, round. they did. They did. That that was a massive turn up for the books when they the, did that. The problem with Norellon is consistency. They don't play well, two good games well, in a row. They are consistent. Uh, Sol Kamuda. Yeah, it's probably, you probably read it as Faya, Salamuda, something or other, but it's, it's Sol. Just confirming the try scorer there. Uh, Jacob McKinnon with the conversion attempt from in front. As we see the conversion successful from in front, it's now 28 nil in favour of the Jets over the Roosters. We've only got a minute remaining in the first half. That's probably the best 38, 39 minutes that Norellan's put together all season. And, and I was about to say about the consistency, they have been consistent. Consistently inconsistent, yes. but they have been but consistent that's nonetheless. True. That's true. As we see the restart now, deep on the eastern side of the field at the northern end. And breaking through the line looks like uh, Luke Rowland. He's had a whale of a first half. He'd certainly be in the hunt for the uh, Bar Central man of the match. He'd be running a good second at the moment. And he's still eligible to play under 18s. Wow, that is dangerous. So he's got plenty of years left in front of him. As we see Whitehouse taking it forward over the 30. 15 short of halfway. Slow play the ball from Whitehouse. To the right hand side. Summer Saval had a Captain Cook and put it down. Only seconds remaining, so that'll see us out to half time. And what a half we've had here at Filmy Sports Ground. The siren sounds in the background. 28 0. Norellan. No, you're not hearing things. Norellan leads Filmy 28 0 at the break. We'll take a break when we come back. The half time wrap. Only Group 6 League Live on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. We'll be back shortly to bring you the best of the on-field action from the team of Group 6 League Live. 